there, it's Jeff. Welcome to this QCAD tutorial. It's basically part two of the other one that I have made previously. And in this little video, I'm going to show you how to design and save a title block template. Now these title block templates are great because you actually put your drawing inside these and you can fill up these title blocks uh, with information, particularly about the drawing that you've just made. So typically in a title block template, you're going to have uh, titles or headings such as, you know, who's drawn it, the scale of the drawing, any revisions or what revision that drawing is, because, you know, you may change your drawing two, three times depending on showing this uh, design or drawing to a client and they may change their mind. So things like that, the date of when you've done this drawing and, and so on. So basically to start off with, you're going to make this template uh, around what size paper that you typically draw on. So it's either going to be A3 or A4 typically. For myself, I generally use A4. So what we want to do is take a measurement of your A4 size sheet and then you want to work out what border that you want around your paper. So in my example, I'm going to have around about a quarter of an inch off the ends of my or the edges of my paper and that's going to be my border. So it's about six millimeters, quarter of an inch and that's going to be the first step to making our title block template. Once I go through and make this template, I'll show you how to save it and then actually put your drawing into the title block template uh, time and time again and you can reuse it all you're going to do is just change the information in the template uh, for you in regards to date and so on and what drawing it is so first thing is first um, I'm going to be using the uh, rectangle tool over here which you see me use a lot in my first video and I'm going to be entering in a figure. Now the figure I have is based on, like I said, around about a quarter of an inch border around my A4 uh, paper. And that figure here, the width is going to be 2859 uh, and 1989. Okay, so I'll zoom that down a little bit. I'm going to change my reference point to the bottom left and snap it on the center line of our page. I'll zoom out a bit. And that is the first step. So that's my border of the page. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, make another border. Now you could do this on the side here or you could have it down the bottom of your page. So um, it depends on what style you like, whether you want it on the bottom or on the side. I can show you another example of one on the side there, where you've got information on the side column or the side column on your, on your title block. But for this demonstration today, I'll do a quick one and I'll do one on the bottom. So uh, I've already got the, so we're going to keep the same width. We're just going to make a smaller little block down here, which I'm going to do around about the height. I'm going to change that to two, three, five, something like that. There we go. So that's going to be the, the bottom area where I'm going to have information, if you like, okay? And what I might do there is divide that into four equal blocks. So uh, we can do that easily. Let's get our little calculator out. And I have 25, 59 divide that by 4639.75 so 639.75 gives me that little box I'm going to snap that into there like that actually that doesn't look right that doesn't look right hang on I've done 20 it should be 28 sorry Okay, little mistake. It should be 28.59 divided by four, that's better. 714.75, sorry about that. So, 714.75, if that was it, 
one, two, three. Yep, that's cool. All right. So this is going to be the basis of my um, title block. Now, the information that you can put in here um, for your template um, can vary. I mean, it's going to vary on different on your different um, jobs and what uh, you're making and what you're doing. But just to give you an idea, I'm going to put some fields in here um, and you can change it to whatever you like. But what we're going to do basically is I'm going to go back and I'm going to go use the font or text uh, page here. And the first one I'm going to put is uh, drawn by, so you can actually fill in who's actually drawn it. Now the size of your text, you can change that. You can change the style, the font. I'm just going to do a quick one there. Uh, next field, I'm going to put. Uh, so what I what you can do is you can. There's two ways of doing this. Now I can go back to the text. And and change the for my get ready for my next title, which will be job description. Okay. Uh, okay, and I can do it like that, and I'll just line up these crosshairs with the other ones so they're in line. One. The other way you can do it if you're doing multiple fields there with um, text is I can just leave this on this one where it says job description doesn't matter we can go back and change it but just plot the plot where I want them quickly line them up uh, I'm going to do a second line around about here Two. line them up Right click and get rid of that. So as you can see, I've just got all the same t uh, text there, but we're gonna go in and change them. So just double click and in there, we we'll change that to Oop, date for that one. Okay, double click in that one. One will be the scale of our drawing. It's an easy. Okay, this one I'll put client client contact, something like that. This one will be this one will be drawing number and this one can be uh, revision just to give you some examples of what you can put into the title block as, as I mentioned sometimes you can do multiple drawings for a client um, and yeah, they can change it so that's basically an example of a titan, title block template there and your drawing would go typically in the middle so what you would do from here is go to File, Save As, and I will save this as an example on the desktop. And this can be um, Drawing Template V1. Save. Uh, well, you can actually save that wherever you want, but I've just sent it off to save that to the desktop. And now it's a matter of getting your drawing and importing this template. So uh, what I will do is I will uh, import a drawing in here. Uh, what one am I going to put in here? Just to give you an idea. All right, here's a little drawing of a run of cabinets. 
Okay, so from here, when you've finished your drawing, for example, so this, I've just finished this, I'm going to go into File, Print Preview. Here we go. Now, if you haven't seen these steps before, I'll go through it with you, and it was in my first tutorial, but that white rectangle there is actually what's going to print. Now, first, we want to change that. Uh, that's set to like a portrait style. We want to change that to a landscape. And you can do that with these two buttons here. So at the moment, it's see how it's grayed out. It's actually in portrait mode. We want to change that to landscape mode. I zoom back out and you can see. Now, if I went to print, you just get a blank page because it needs to be scaled. So over here on the left, it says scale one to one. Now, if you do the drop down tab here, you've got some uh, scales there that are, that are preset and you can try a couple of these first to see how it looks like it'll fit onto that page. So if I go to one to 10, you can see that even one to 10 is just still not gonna fit in. So you can either manually change it or you can go to another scale. If I went to one to 20, one to 10 probably will fit in there but I could probably do a little bit better, show a little bit more detail and, and bring that scale down a little bit more. So I'm gonna manually change this to one to 15. And that looks like it may fit it. Now, you can see that the drawing is sticking out of the page. And to correct that, we use this little hand tool here. And you'll see when you depress it, it goes gray. And then it's a matter of clicking on the page, holding down the left um, button on your mouse, and you move that around where you want. So for example, I'm gonna put that there just to show you. Now, keep in mind your title block area. So in my case, it's down the bottom. So when I do go to center this drawing, I want to actually uh, put the drawing more towards the top and leave a little bit of space down the bottom. So see, I've got that area there. It should be somewhere around about there. I'm just going to guess it's around about there. It's a bit of trial and error, but you can move it later once you put the title block in. So that is going to be our next step. So you can, if you don't want that to move around anymore or accidentally, just depress that button there. Our next step is to import our saved title block template. So the way we do that is go to file, import, and I just find your drawing wherever you've saved it. In my case it's on the desktop and I've got drawing template v1 open. Now you can see that when it does come in, it's it's on the left hand bottom corner, it's stuck, it moves with my cursor. That's good. Leave it like that. And if you go over to the corner here, you can see that it really needs to change scale. So the scale that is on here at the moment, and it might have been previously of what you've used, or it might be your first time, you want to change that. So if I go to one, it's still not enough. There's another preset there, it's the same. Maybe um, if you go double that, two, and then we start to get too big. So let's go back, let's go 1.5, somewhere in the middle, let's have a look at that. And we're, we're better. You can see that just our right and our top is a little bit out. So instead of being 1.5, let's change that to 1.4. What do we look like now? We're a little bit too small. So I'm gonna go 1.45, what does that do? That's pretty good. Can you see that the it's pretty much in line with the blue border that's actually there. And that's what you want to roughly stick to. So I'm just going to snap there. And that's left the title block there. And then to get rid of this title block, right click, it's gone. Now you can see my title block has been put in and you can see that gap wise, it's positioned pretty good with the drawing there. Um, and that's pretty much where I want it. Now, from here, we've noticed that we've changed this to one to 15 scale. That's my drawing, one to 15. So for example, in this scale here, if you, if you haven't filled it out, 
Now's a good time to fill it in after you've scaled it and positioned your drawing in there because that's roughly what scale your drawing is now. So you can to do that, you can go back into this red, red uh, cross. You can go into here, double click, I'm going to go over here, give it a couple of spaces, 1, 2, 15, OK. And then you go back to print preview and you will see that scales filled in and you can fill out the rest of the title block as you like as well there if you wanted to if you had to move the drawing a little bit if you wanted to tweak it so see you can just see that line there it's a little bit out compared to the original or the, the border template that blue border template if you wanted to tweak that around a little bit you can just get that hand tool again and just move it ever so slightly till it's even um, check and it's a little bit better and it's even and that's basically your title block template uh, it's just a matter of changing the information that's in these fields here every time you do insert it into your drawing from here if you want to print it file uh, print or you can press the the print icon here just quickly print it into uh, to your printer and that's basically going to go to your printer settings make sure that your orientation is set to landscape and press print um, or ideally you can save this as a pdf file which is over here cabinet run save it to where you want and um, it saves as a pdf file which is ideal it's very good to save these as a PDF. I love it because you can actually um, save them and you can send them by email or phone uh, these drawings to a client or whatever it is to whoever it is to um, you know show them your drawing. Um, but then you know keeping in mind if you have to change the drawing, you come back into here and you re-save it and, and so on. So that's basically it with this um, title box template. Um, I hope that you know this helps you out some way and that just about wraps up this video for today so if you liked it hopefully you liked it and uh, if you hopefully you got something out of it um, press like thumbs up share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my other uh, to my channel so you can keep up to date with the latest videos that I bring out and hopefully I'll see you in one of my next videos